Well, this picture here is sort of out of sequence. I took and uh, put it on the trailer and slid it outside where we could clean that floor up a little bit. It just gets a junk in there, we couldn't take it anymore. It was interfering with working on it. But you get a little bit of an idea of what we've been doing with it. And here we are, little side view. We're sitting there tacking that thing up. None of this is welded yet. It's just spot tacked. A lot of welding to do, but we'll pull this unit off to do that. It's gonna look pretty good, I think. If I do brag on myself. Here we are tacking the rudder brackets on. Had to set them back a little bit for that rudder to work out. And uh, we we'll get that set up. We'll get us a next step will be a rudder after that. Here we go. We got the rudder set up here. You top brace in, rudders up. Now we're going to start working on some linkage. On the rest of my boat, well, I've put two rudders on. But this boat's so small, we're going to try one. I ain't going to change it if I need to, but I think one will make it all right. I get it handled. Here's another little bitty view of it. And you get just a little bit of the idea of some of the linkage you're starting to build up for. It, uh, Got a push pull stick on them to run them. And that's got to work pretty easy. You got to have some leverage on that thing when it's running. Here's another little view of the side, and you can see some more of the linkage for the steering. Seat mount is mounted up, and uh, it's getting to be one little bit of a unit. All this stuff is still just tacked up, it's not welded yet, but it's getting pretty stiff now. We got the unit set off in the floor, fix and start welding on it, and get it where we can roll it around like we want to. I'll jerk that motor back off and jerk the seat back off and start sewing this thing up. Just one step at a time. Well, now we're drilling holes in the dang boat. Uh, we drill a drain hole in this thing, found a one inch aluminum coupling, like I never found it. You can find all kind of steel and copper ones, but the aluminum ones were hard to find. But we'll put that and weld that in for a drain plug on this thing. Welding that thing in is gonna be a little bit of a trick because you've got a 5 8 inch overhang on the bottom and then your bead there, and you gotta set the thing up in there and seal it all the way around. So it's a little bit touchy, but we're gonna get her done. And here we go to taping it off. We'll tape this bottom off for that quick slick we're going to put on. That quick slick is graphite and silicone and some more stuff mixed together to make that bottom really slick, slide over stuff, help the friction on it. But you've got to rough it up.